What's good, everybody? Welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben, and today we are taking a look at the DV8 Bowling Damn Good Verge Pearl. Here's some numbers on me, here's some numbers on the ball, and here's how we laid it out. The Damn Good Verge Pearl follows in the footsteps of its highly successful predecessor, the Damn Good Verge. This ball features the Insider Pearl cover stock wrapped around the Threshold MD or Medium Differential Core, and the differences between the original and the Pearl are pretty limited, even featuring virtually the same color scheme, but can you blame them? The design of the Damn Good Verge worked, so why wouldn't DV8 create a similar ball with a little more easy length and responsiveness to friction? Most bowlers will appreciate this simple one-two pairing in their arsenal, especially those that wish to keep things nice and simple during their weekday leagues. Throwing the damn good Verge Pearl was an interesting experience. On this fresh house shot, it took a couple of shots to find the first sweet spot and to match up, but once it was there, the ball performed very well. Medium to low differential balls tend to continue through the pins well for me, and this was no exception. If you enjoy watching your ball run the 8 pin over, you're really likely to enjoy this piece. Typically though, when I venture around the lane, I'm able to find a spot where the ball definitely wants to be, whether that's in the track or deep in Inside, each ball tends to have a sort of sweet spot. What's interesting about the damn good Verge Pearl is that I actually found two. The first was in the track area, which didn't surprise me. This ball was designed with that in mind, and even though I tend to struggle at times in that zone, and I definitely had a few shots that weren't perfect, I was still able to strike a little lot from there. The other was from surprisingly deep inside. Moving a good 10 to 15 boards left of the first sweet spot, I was able to find a great ball reaction again, only making a small adjustment to the ball speed to give the ball a chance to pick up. With the performance of this ball further right, I couldn't believe the continuation from inside fourth arrow. So with that, it's hard to think of a bowler that won't appreciate this ball in their arsenal. Bowlers with a low ball speed might struggle with a pearl cover stock as it does really like to pick up and go left in the presence of friction, but if you can shim the ball in some oil, you might like it more than you think even with that limitation. Sport bowlers will appreciate the damn good Verge Pearl frequently. Because of the versatility of this ball, it is a great clean option that is able to be played all over the lane and have a stable reaction at the end of a pattern. High rev rate players will love the fact that they're able to grab this ball late in a block and hammer on it from deep inside and not have it overreact on them. The cover stock does a good job of handling high friction environments while the core maintains enough energy to go through the pins well. It becomes more and more true every day. Purple balls strike more, and the damn good Verge Pearl, well, it sure is purple. And you can pick this up and much more today at BowlersParadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. I want to throw a big shout out to Striking Edge Pro Shop for the layout and drilling, as well as to Dale's Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. Before you go, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. And remember, having the right ball in your hand, well, that's a bowler's paradise. Peace.